Right, it's about welcome back to the shop. And someone asked me a question again. This is one of the older ones. I'm trying to mull through these. Someone asked me a question saying, why would you bother wanting to make a, make a rotary valve whatsoever? And this was off the back of a um, article that there was a big article about Formula One are looking into having a uh, rotary valve that they basically just plonk on the top of their cylinders. So there's your cylinder like this. And then they have this rotary valve that sits on top and inside basically it looks like this um, like that so to speak and basically as you rotate it there's a drive gear that sits around here then there's another gear that comes off a shaft or whatever there's loads of ways you can do it um, and it has bearings here and bearings here and bearings here to support it as it rotates and basically your air goes in like this and then when you rotate it and it'll go at um, half crank speed, just like your camshafts will. And then when you rotate it, this section that's open will be your exhaust. So then imagine we're now rotated and there's your cylinder, then your exhaust gases can go out. Awesome idea. Why would you want to do this though? Well, the fact of the matter is, is you're already driving a camshaft. And when you compare the weight of this to the weight of a camshaft, uh, the, about the, you get into, you know, it's probably a bit heavier, but you're nearly there. You're about the same weight. So you can have a weight saving because then you don't need valves, right? You don't need valves, you don't need springs, you don't need retainers, you don't need all that shit, you don't need valve guides, and so on and so on. So that's one reason why to do it, because you can save weight. It also means that you can have the valves tape on, tape off, by the profile of the opening of how these things work. The problem is... Number one is that if you have this rotor like this, is you're going to have to have a section that's blanked off for combustion. Um, yeah, you're going to have to have a, a section that's blanked off for combustion. Where you stick your plug and stuff, well, you can stick it in the side or maybe two or something like that. You could always kind of get around that. But why hasn't this been used? Why isn't this successful? Why aren't we seeing this right now? The reason why is because it's what you make and how you implement this actual rotating cylinder. At the end of the day, you know, just imagine we've got a, this is, a, you know, you're rotating, what is it? It is just a tube with a cast divider in the middle of it. And um, the problem is, is the, 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 the uh, thermodynamic stresses or the therm, the therm, So the problem is, is the thermal stresses that this thing has to go through. It is a tube at the end of the day, just with this divider in the middle. And um, basically what you have is, you'll have this section of your tube, which is your cold section, and then you'll have your hot section of your tube like this. Well, this is gonna cause this end to thermally expand like a son of a bitch because it's hot, and that is going to slowly creep down this. So as you increase power and as you rev along, rev along, rev along, rev along, this thing is going to slowly start to taper itself out. Well, you could design that in, but that means it's probably going to leak at low RPM and all the rest of it. The other problem is, as well, is obviously this thing's been cooled. Because as soon as your fuel-air mixture hits this divider and goes into your cylinder like that, it's going to cool this inner surface, which is a good thing. But it's also going to cause the thing to contract. And it's just this contraction and wobbling. And this whole thing has to be sealed. Otherwise, when you do compression, it's going to piss out. You know, this thing's rotating just, say, in a sleeve like this. You have your cylinder here. It has to seal here and here and here. And if you think how we seal nowadays, we slap a great big fucking gasket in there and clamp the shit out of it. And even then you can have uh, gaskets fail and it just blows past that and your compression drops and your power drops. So the problem here is a thermodynamic issue. It's also mainly a material issue. You'd probably want to put your gear actually on this side now I think about it compared to my drawing before because this is the cold side and it's not going to shift as much. Um, but you can see that doing this with this one tube is going to be a pain in the ass. People might ask, can't you split the tube? Well, no, because, well, it's a fucking tube. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's still going to conduct. And then if you split the tube, you're going to have to end up sticking seals on it and that. So again, fucking absolutely horrible. Um, could you try and water cool this somehow? It's a rotating sleeve that has very thin cross-section walls. Probably not. Um, maybe you could put, thinking about it, maybe where you've got your sleeve up here, maybe you could have water cooling here. 
as it rotates around it cools it but the contact patch is spinning so quick it would make very little difference um but yeah like i say this this is the problem with it yeah timing would be a bit weird as well you could only go so far but you could have like creeping ports and stuff like that. i'll actually do some cad and we'll actually have a look at some of the design aspects of it um but it also means that if you are after just high rpm it means that you could have a port well as big as you want really you know you're not really restricted in that kind of sense spark plug location would be a bit of a dickhead your combustion could you do that you can that's a good question you could actually do a combustion chamber inside it but ceiling again it's all just fucking horrible so they looked into it they've probably done some tests and all the rest of it and it's just work for a bit shit the bed and then they've all gone uh it was a nice idea but you know what i mean trying to make this work there are other things like the rc the rcv the rotating I can't what the c stands for cylinder valve of course it does idiot where they actually have a rotating valve like this that rotates along the bottom and has ports like a two stroke um, at least then you don't really have to worry too much because you're using the piston as a seal and then you can just stick a normal head on the top of it We'll actually have a look at the RCV and talk about why it's good and why it's bad and all the rest of it in a later video. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.